Hey, guess where we are? <laughs> Italy, baby. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, so I am. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Just dropped our bags off. Had a quick change because we're sweating like pigs. Thank you. That's just gonna happen. I know it now. Which way? We're looking for the main part of Naples so we can get some food and a drink. Absolutely gasping. Get me an apple. I think someone else needs Our lunch was actually awful, so we went and searched for gelato. It was very much needed. And then we just explored a bit of central Naples, but a lot of things were closed because it was a Monday. And the crust on that. The little, like, mozzarella balls. The little booty, the little nipple on that. Buon appetito. They're good. Yeah. One bowl. Toast test, baby. Naples are known for pizzas, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> that is unreal. Amazing! Amazing! We then took a little walk down to the port and we got some takeaway apparels for two euros. Absolute bargain, so good. <laughs> the sweatiest train I've ever been on. So there is a train that runs directly from Naples to Pompeii. So we stopped off there at the Pompeii Bruins, which was amazing. And then we decided to carry on the same train to Sorrento. And this was unreal. <laughs> I always do that. Mm. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. I got pineapple and mint. Mint and tiramisu. And loads of spires. Tiramisu and mango. Gorgeous. Mango, Gorgeous. I'm really glad I got. Delicious. It looks amazing. Right, let's get it in my belly. You're the cutest place I've ever been to. No one did it, but you lost that. You had real privileges for this. Oh, snap. Now you're getting time. Yeah. That's the beach. It is black sand. One thing to definitely bear in mind if you're going to Sorrento is the fact that literally every single beach is privately owned and it's a beach club so you have to pay quite a lot of money to sit there, um, which we were not prepared for. However, we did find this little public beach at Marina Grande. I absolutely needed to get the camera out to show off this place because my phone will not do it justice. Absolutely stunning. It's currently evening. We just had a dip in the sea and now we're just gonna head off and get some dinner. Not sure where we're gonna go. There's really cute restaurants up there so we might see if they're ridiculously expensive, which they probably will be, but it's so pretty. Gorgeous. <laughs> I think it's recording. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Going to Amalfi, baby. Getting the boat trip to Amalfi. I'll put all the details in a little voice say back because I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So we found this trip on TripAdvisor. It was a 10 hour round trip. It was absolutely my favorite day of the whole holiday. So I'm gonna talk you through what we did. So basically we got the bus to the Naples ferry port and then we got a ferry from Naples to Amalfi. The lovely tour guide was talking us through everything we were going past so that we saw for free. And obviously lots of little um, towns around Amalfi. We ended up in Amalfi for three and a half hours. So we just got a coffee and then laid on the beach for a bit. It was very hot. Grabbed some little souvenirs and some lovely Aperol and some lunch. What delicious is in Italian. Ooh, neither do I. I. Should look it up. But it is that. But it is whatever it is. This is literally the most beautiful place I've ever been. Ciao Amalfi. We're leaving Amalfi and going to Positano, which is just a short little boat trip down. Okay, we're arriving into Positano, second stop of the day. That much time in Positano, which wasn't a massive deal, but we did have about an hour, so we basically just explored a bit, saw some gorgeous views, got a lemon slushy or two, and then made our way back to the ferry. It was absolutely stunning. I would go back there in a heartbeat if I could afford it. <laughs> did get very hot walking up the stairs, just beware, it's very, very steep. There's also this little artist like, working on the street, it was so cute. I'll quickly show you the room because I will leave the links to all of the Airbnbs that we stayed at below and like the prices and stuff. So this is our little balcony, it's a bit loud, but it's quite cute actually. Yeah, so we've got a little balcony. And then this is the bedrooms. So we've got a massive double bed, wardrobe, single bed, very like modern. 
checked in in our Airbnb in Rome. So this is like a little view. This place is so cute, guys. It's literally her home. I'm filming your filming. I'm That's filming your filming. So cute, I can't cope. Bathroom. This is the main bedroom. Look at this wardrobe. It's easier to find. to charge us four euros for oh, a coke. Four yeah. oh, euros for a bottle of coke. We said you're on your bike, you are. <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> all of our faces were just like, the like, fuck? I was like, what? No. You what? <sighs> we also can't go in the Vatican because we're not dressed appropriately. The men are though. The men, the men can go in, they're fine. They can wear whatever they want. They can wear shorts. They can't. So great, it's fine. We'll go, we'll go in tomorrow and just, you know, Sweat to death. It's no big deal. I pass out. I pass out. Oh, in the yeah. Vatican. Maybe to make a show. Then. Yeah, low key, get special treatment. Oh my god, what's this little bridge moment? That's cute. Are we going across I there? think we need to go across that, don't we? Aww. We've come to the oldest ice cream place and most famous ice cream place in Rome, and I'm so excited. If you're ever in Rome, I'm literally begging you to go to this ice cream slash gelato place. It was founded in like 1900 sometime, it's pretty old. And they literally had the most incredible array of flavors. They were all amazing. I got nougat, yogurt and raspberry sorbet and it was 100% the best gelato that we had in Italy. Then we wandered down to the Trevi Fountain before going around some shops. They give you limoncello literally in every shop. It's amazing. As you can see, the free shots did persuade us to all buy meloncello. It's unreal, gorgeous. Anyway, so we went back to the room and got ready for dinner, and then we went to this place called Pasta Vino. And this happens quite a lot in the restaurants around Italy, but they were making the pasta fresh on display by the window, which was just really, really lovely. And Shay and Luz both had pasta and said it was the best pasta they had like ever <laughs> anyway the next day we basically went to the Colosseum and palatine hill so we started off the morning at palatine hill it was about 24 euros for both of the tickets combined we did think they were free but they were not <laughs> and so just be cautious of that since we've left the eu we will have to pay for so much more which is not fun yeah some of it there I'll put it on the screen. The views from here. Oh my god. After having some lunch, we headed back towards the Colosseum, little walk back from Palatine Hill. Um, this was pretty unreal. We got the audio guides with it, and it was just really impressive to see, to be honest. Everyone? Ribbit. Gotta get a willy. I've got to get a willy or two. I'm in need. <laughs> and willies are my favourite. Absolutely steam into the holy church we go. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, that was so I've had so much limoncello. I don't even worry. No. Limoncello is strong, man. Yeah. If it was a what meloncello. So you know in Brighton, that star party. Yeah, that's that. what got you, isn't I it? Like half a bottle of it. Wow. Half a bottle. With some prosecco. Lovely. Lovely. Well, yeah, what percentage is it? Look at these guys. Very warm. Hello. It's good. 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 It's good.
to give someone their reservation? Yeah, I want Who wants the 25th of June reservation to the Pantheon? Oh, we have one. We have. How many times have we tried to get into that? Imagine if we paid. I'm going to check my Okay, so yesterday. Oh, so it wasn't important to you? <laughs> right. <laughs> we hung around for. How long? Well, you told the whole story. Guys, tried to get in yesterday. Guys, guys, guys. I Did I tell you so? I don't think so. I don't we were think very so. upset about it. We were. So basically, yesterday we tried to get in. Oh, cute. Oh, God. Fluff on the top. Is that what? Fluff on the top. Too much lemon cello. No, not enough. Anyway, tried to get in yesterday, but me and Shay were too naked. On our back. I feel like I did tell the story. I don't know. I think I told it about the Vatican. But we also tried to get into the Pantheon and it still wasn't working for us. So, yeah, basically, if you're coming to Rome, dress like a nun. Dress like a nun. Because otherwise, you're getting in nowhere. Anyway, so yeah, we plan to go today. Booked it for two hours later. Hung around, had a lovely drink or two. We didn't hang around because like we had a good time. Had a, nice time but we a lot of free stuff. A lot well. of free stuff was given. Much appreciated. However, we did just boldly stroll up to the woman saying we have a reservation. That storage. I'm really upset about it. Just recorded the whole clip and none of it was there. Went in Rome. Oh, I know the space. Bus stop to the right. We've got a reservation for three. 25th of June. Yeah, we got the bus from yesterday. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. That happened, so, um, all good vibes. It's okay, back we go. Back we go. Scorchio. No, I'm not Absolutely doing scorchio. I quite like it. Bus. Where is it? Mr. Raz. Hello. Like a drive in the sun. Would love How cute would that be right now? <laughs> a little balcony. Oh, a little few balcony drinks. It's okay, it vanished too well. Guys, oh, yeah. I got bitten on my forehead. Look at that. Shane's been bitten to boogery. Everywhere. Oh, it's it's massive. massive. It is massive, right? Like, oh, anyway, we're just having a little going on. Really nice dinner. Yeah. At this cute little square. Should we put it on screen? Yeah. Everything will be on screen, in description, all of the above. Do you know what I hate when people say like, oh, everything is in the description. And it's not. Nothing. nothing. George May yeah. does that all the time. Yeah. She's not playing music. She's not playing. Actually, two seconds from our Airbnb, which I'll also link because all of our Airbnbs have been really good, actually. So if you're looking for like affordable, good places, yeah, Thanks especially in Florence because Florence is really expensive. <laughs> Facts. Um, this place was like pretty much the same price as the hostels. It was the same. It was, yeah. Yeah, so we ended up just going for Airbnbs and it just worked out more convenient and like nice to have your own space kind of thing. So yeah, I'll leave it all below, but that dinner was gorgeous. Okay. For our final day and full day in Florence, we decided to book a little tour around the Duomo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we <laughs> moved. Anyway, it was really, really good actually. It was very informative and the tour guide, Marcello, was really, really nice. Um, and it was just really nice to go inside. Quite impressive, like the stained glass and stuff. Had a great time. We did um, a tour this morning of the Duomo, the like cathedral. So I would put some clips in of that. It was really good. It's the... Um, it's the Mary uh, one, the Santa Maria one. <laughs> Correct, Mary. Just in case you want to do the tour, guys. Let yeah, me honestly, oh my god, no, honestly, I'm I will. Just giving you such a task. <laughs> <laughs> no, the tour guide was the cutest man. Oh. I've, his name was Marcello, big up Marcello. Big. He was absolute gem. And anyway, so we've come to this place which is supposed to be the best viewing point in Florence, and I can fucking confirm. Oh my god, it's oh my wow. Wednesday night just hanging out us two just got home and you turn on Parmigiana. Oh my god that is delicious. Yeah. 
Shay's having the best beef and potatoes of her life. Mm. Looks very veggie with some gorgeous tops and beans. Let's get it in the moon. My dreams. Promote it. <laughs> Got a wave. <laughs> yeah. What is it called? Nino and friends. Nino and friends. How cute. Nino. Nino gave us lots of free goodies. Lots of free goodies. in Venice, first meal of the destination looks unreal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. I just heard loose gasp and was like, what is it? Just a light lunch, just a light lunch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ready for our gondola. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So we booked our Gondola ride through Get Your Guide, which I would 100% recommend. I feel like they're probably all similar sorts of prices, but we got a half an hour trip. Well, it was actually more like 25 minutes, but it was meant to be half an hour. <laughs> anyway, um, we paid, I think, £25 slash €28 Euros each, which was kind of the average price, but it's so worth doing. I feel like it's a must do in Venice. Choppy waters to be fair. She had a choppy journey. Oh my god. Oh, it's just a little bit. Anyway, onwards we go. For our final day, we decided to explore this gallery. It was like two euros, so we just thought, why not? And then we walked past this fruit and veg stand on the water, which was so cool. We are en route to our final dinner. This isn't recented. Oh dear. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I don't know what that is. Crimea Venetian Canal. That was really good. Probably not if you're turning your phone upside down. It's looking good, guys. Looking good. I haven't vlogged that much in Venice, but. It's just absolutely beautiful, like it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been for sure, it's gorgeous. We've got quite a few clips of the canal and stuff so you would have seen those but yeah, we're going for dinner and I will update you when we are there. The last supper. Looking gorgeous. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like a lad with my mug. <laughs> This was our final Airbnb in Venice. This was absolutely gorgeous. It was our favorite one for sure. Um, and that is everything for this vlog. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please do let me know if you have any more questions or anything. I'm more than happy to answer them because I did find it quite hard actually to find all of the information that I needed before we went away. So I hope this video has been somewhat informative and helpful or if not, I hope you've just enjoyed it and enjoyed being nosy at what we got up to on our 10 days traveling around Italy. Please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and do hit the subscribe button. I'm going to Greece next, so next vlog is pending. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.